this is Noreen from Joya Cards and today we're making another Pampered Pets Love birthday card. So this one's kind of cute. There's lots of die cutting in it. So uh, I wanted to remind you if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you're a first time subscriber and you write a comment with your email so I can email you back you might win the demo card. So you get something for free. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, so today we're gonna be using uh, framed for you. So we're gonna use the sentiment and the frame. We're gonna use the stitch so sweetly, the second scalloped die for the love here. And then for the cutting out of the frame, we're gonna be using the largest regular frame and the fifth uh, largest frame to make this frame to put this inside. We're gonna be using the two smallest scalloped circles for the inside and these awesome alphabet, playful alphabet dies. These are fantastic. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is start out with our card base and this is crushed curry, five and a half by four and a quarter. Then we're gonna cut some real red, which is five and a quarter by four. And we're going to use this paper here, which this is on the back from Playful Pets. And this one is five by 3.75. Now we can go ahead and put the red one on. There's nothing else that can prevent us from putting this on. So we'll go ahead and layer that up. All right, now we don't wanna put on this one because we're gonna be wrapping this string. Now the, the element that we're gonna use, this is from the playful suite and this is the pets trim combo pack so we're going to be using this red ribbon here and i've cut this out at like uh, six inches and then i also took the playful uh pets uh trinkets and i put a heart on there and a little dog bone on there so we're going to be wrapping that around in a minute and then we're gonna go ahead and cut out in crushed curry using the stitched so sweetly. Like I said, this is the second smallest frame here. And we're gonna be cutting that. And then, or I already cut that. And then from your alphabet dies in the real red, you're gonna cut out love, which I've already done here. And then we're gonna go ahead and just line them up first, just so you know where they kind of land. And then take your, I'm gonna take my fine tip glue rather than snailing on it because snail leaves a lot of webbing behind and it can pick up dust and stuff and get dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on and I'll be right back. Now that I've glued love onto our little uh, frame here, I'm gonna go ahead and lay out this, um, the, string here and I'm going to snail the back of it and I am going to line it up where I want that sentiment to hit okay and I'm going to snail up our sentiment and put that right in the middle turn over the card of course and snail the back and wrap these around. Okay, and then we're just going to arrange our little trinkets here, just like so. And let's grab our card base and let's go ahead and snail this up. Put this on like so. Moving on to the frame, what we're gonna do is take our layering squares. We're gonna take the largest one and the second largest one and the fifth largest one. And we're going to be taking that second largest one and we're gonna be using the Playful Pets paper that looks like this. And we're gonna be using the back side. So you're gonna take that second largest and cut this frame. And this is gonna be the background to what we're gonna stamp in a minute. So I've already done that. And then you're going to take your actual frame and your, your stamp frame, and we're going to stamp it in memento and give it a good stamp because I'm not using my stamparatus. I probably should, but that's okay. 
and we're going to give it a bunch of ink here and we're going to stamp it first and then cut it because it would be really difficult to do it the other way around so we're going to go ahead take this just put it right in the middle here and this paper here this is cinnamon cider so just take a piece of cinnamon cider that's big enough for you to stamp this and cut around it and then here's our frame we now need to take the largest layering square and it's going to have um, some space around it and that's good if you notice there's space around here and we're going to take a piece of tape get this all centered up take a piece of tape and tape it and I'm going to go die cut this and I'll be right back now we've cut the outside of the square here we're going to take the fifth largest layering square and we're going to center this up here tape it and I'm going to go ahead and cut this one I've cut the center piece so let's go ahead and you can put that to the side and you've got this now and we're going to go ahead and place this background that we just cut and affix it onto the frame so grab your silicone craft sheet and snail this up if you don't have one of these craft sheets oh my gosh get one because it keeps your entire space here so nice and clean and we're going to put this on and take a look at it and you want your um, I prefer my lines to go horizontal maybe you like a vertical that's fine all right so the next step is we need to cut out our doggy so what I've done is I've taken the playful pets and I fussy cut it the little doggy is what I did so and after I fussy cut it the doggy I took my light crumb cake on the bigger end and I etched him just so you don't see any of that white poking through and after I finish that, all I need to do is snail him onto the picture frame. So I took that and we're gonna put him right here in the middle. And then we're going to take our card base and dimensionals. And I'm gonna put like five. So I'm gonna put five on here and get this ready to go. I'll be right back. I've got the dimensionals all hold off here I'm gonna go ahead and put them on my card and then I took the antique uh, corners and slide elements and I took those little corner pieces and I put them on the inside here just take some glue dots and you take your pick tool and just put them on the back here and put them in each one of the corners. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. So now I've finished the outside of the card. Now let's do the inside. The inside's pretty easy. We're gonna take the two smallest scalloped layering circles and we're gonna cut one in the crushed curry and one in the real red. Take your memento and in the frame for you, there is this little tiny happy birthday. So we're gonna go ahead and ink this one up and place our happy birthday and go ahead and just nail that onto and be careful because your ink is still wet try not to touch it I touch it all the time so it's like ah, don't touch it go ahead and snail them up on there and then I just took a piece of real red and I cut it uh, five and a quarter by four and snail that up. And then I took a little piece of uh, the uh, DS paper and, and this is from Playful Pets. And I just took a little piece of it, just, you know, like a quarter inch by, this is um, five and a quarter. So maybe I did like five and just put along the side and then snailed up my little sentiment and that's the card so hey if please subscribe to my youtube channel if you're a first time subscriber you put your email address in the comment with say hey i like the card then uh you might win the demo card for free so i'll i'll email it and you back and get your address and stick it in the mail and and that's it so please subscribe and that's all bye